iconic venues of the Paris 2024 Olympic Games. Stade de France. The stadium is the largest in France and has staged numerous sporting events, including the UEFA Champions League finals in 2000, 2006 and 2022, seven matches at UEFA Euro 2016, the 2003 World Athletics Championships and the 1999, 2007 and upcoming Rugby World Cup, making it one of only two stadia in the world to have hosted both a Football World Cup final and a Rugby Union World Cup final. For Paris 2024, the arena, which is also home to the French national rugby and football teams, will stage the athletics and rugby sevens competitions. Roland Garros Stadium, a legendary sports complex, Roland Garros Stadium has borne witness to some of the greatest moments in tennis history over the 95 years it has hosted the French Open. Named in memory of French aviator Roland Garros, the venue is spread over 12 hectares and has 18 clay courts, including the Simon Mathieu and Suzanne Lenglen courts, which will host tennis events at Paris 2024. Parc des Princes. As one of the most successful footballing nations in history, France is full of exceptional stadiums where legends of the beautiful game have plied their craft. Designed by architect Roger Taillibert, the park was first built in 1972 and has been the home of football club Paris Saint-Germain since 1974. In addition to being the home ground of PSG, Parc des Princes has staged numerous matches for the French national football and rugby teams, as well as major international competitions, including the 1998 Football World Cup and the Euro 2016 Football Championship. Place de la Concorde, at the eastern end of the Champs-Élysées, sits the largest and one of the most famous public squares in Paris, Place de la Concorde. The place was a central stage for the events of the French Revolution, but was also the entry point for two major international expositions, as well as being the site of national celebrations, including the victory celebrations of the end of the First World War, the liberation of Paris in the Second World War, and the French men's national team winning the 1998 FIFA World Cup. For Paris 2024, the place will stage the urban sports of the Olympic Games at the heart of the city from Saturday 27th July to Saturday 10th August. Stade Vélodrome, one of two games venues in the city of Marseille for the Games, was a natural choice to stage a portion of the football competition for Paris 2024. Stade Vélodrome has been the home of Marseille's professional football team Olympique de Marseille since its construction in 1937 and has also hosted matches for the French national teams and all of the major competitions organised in France since the first half of the 20th century. The 1938 and 1998 Football World Cups, the 1984 and 2016 European Football Championships and the 2007 Rugby World Cup. The Grand Palais des Champs-Élysées, commonly known as the Grand Palais, is a spectacular complex in the heart of Paris. Built for the Universal Exhibition in 1900, the Palais is renowned worldwide for its magnificent nave and glass roof and is listed as a historic monument by the French Ministry of Culture. Today, the building operates as a museum, art gallery, exhibition and concern hall and, on occasion, a sports venue. The 2010 World Fencing Championships were held at the Palais and it was used during the final stage of the Tour de France in 2017 as part of the promotion for Paris's 2024 Summer Olympics bid. The riders rode through the Palais en route to the Champs-Élysées. Champ de Mars, Arena and Eiffel Tower Stadium. The Champ de Mars is one of the most instantly recognizable public green spaces in the world, nestled between the Eiffel Tower to the northwest and the Ecole Militaire to the southeast. The lawns were formerly used as drilling and marching grounds by the French military, but in 2024, 
the area will host various events of the Olympic Games. The Esplanade des Invalides is a huge open lawn area on the north side of the Hôtel des Invalides, a complex of buildings relating to the military history of France. The complex, which was built during the reign of Louis XIV in 1687, contains museums, monuments, a hospital and a retirement home for war veterans. The building's original purpose, hence the English translation House of Invalids. The tomb of Napoleon Bonaparte is located in the Dôme des Invalides. The Chateau de Versailles, also known as the Palace of Versailles in English, was home to the court of King Louis XIV and would become the epicentre of French royalty up until the French Revolution. In 1883, the site became a national museum open to the public and was the first French site to be awarded UNESCO World Heritage status in 1979. Tehupo is a village on the southwestern coast of Tahiti, an island in French Polynesia, an overseas collectivity of France, located in the South Pacific Ocean. Apart from its outstanding natural beauty, Tehupo is famed for having one of the most spectacular waves in surfing. The decision to stage the surfing competitions in Tehupo aligns with Paris 2024's goals to spread the games across France and engage French overseas territories and their communities in the Olympic Games. Stade Yves du Manoir is a unique venue for Paris 2024, as it is the only one will host Olympic events for the second time in its history. First opened in 1907, the stadium was renovated for the Paris 1924 Olympics, where it was utilized as the primary arena for the Games. It hosted the athletics, some of the cycling, some of the horse riding, gymnastics, tennis, some of the football, rugby, and two of the modern pentathlon events, running, fencing. The venue also hosted the final of the 1938 FIFA World Cup between Italy and Hungary. Subscribe now and be a part of our stadium-loving family. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an update and be the first to explore the secrets, stories and history behind these colossal structures.